Hello and welcome to NetApp KB TV. This video is based on NetApp KB ID 1014841. It has the steps to set up deduplication schedule in clustered data on tap. First step is to create a job schedule. Run job schedule Chrome create hyphen name, name of the schedule hyphen minute and the frequency. To verify, run job schedule Chrome show and it shows efficiency schedule. Next, we create an efficiency policy. Run volume efficiency policy create hyphen v server name of the v server hyphen policy name of the policy hyphen schedule name of the schedule hyphen enable set it to true and QS policy to background. Check using volume efficiency policy show. To apply the policy on the volume, run volume efficiency on hyphen v server vs1 hyphen volume and the name of the volume sys1. To apply the policy, run volume efficiency modify hyphen v server vs1 hyphen volume sys1 hyphen policy and the name of the policy. To enable inline compression, modify the settings using volume efficiency modify hyphen v server vs1 hyphen volume cs1 hyphen compression true hyphen inline compression true. To start the process, we'll now run volume efficiency start hyphen v server vs1 hyphen volume sys1 hyphen scan old data true. Using this, we can also scan the existing data for duplicates. Say yes. By default, compression of existing data does not attempt to compress any compression groups that contain shared blocks such as from deduplication or blocks locked in snapshot copies. Using these options might temporarily show increased space usage. Snapshot blocks true option compresses blocks locked in snapshot copy. This might cause new blocks that contain compressed data to be written while original uncompressed blocks are still locked in a snapshot copy. When snapshot copy expires or is deleted, savings are realized. By default, compression of existing data does not attempt to compress any compression groups that contain shared blocks such as from deduplication or blocks locked in snapshot copies. Using these options, might temporarily show increased space usage. Snapshot blocks true option compresses blocks locked in snapshot copy. This might cause new blocks that contain compressed data to be written while original uncompressed blocks are still locked in a snapshot copy. When snapshot copy expires or is deleted, savings are realized. To scan shared blocks and snapshot data, enter advanced mode. To scan snapshot blocks, run volume efficiency start hyphen v server vs1 hyphen volume sys1 hyphen scan old data true hyphen fields snapshot blocks hyphen snapshot blocks true. Say yes. To include shared blocks, run the same command with the shared blocks field set to true. To monitor the status, you can run volume efficiency show hyphen v server hyphen volume and it will show the status of the operation. To check the space saved, run volume show hyphen v server vs1 hyphen volume sys1 hyphen fields sys space saved. We hope you find this video helpful. Please subscribe to NetApp KB TV for more knowledge based videos. Thank you for watching.